Hey gang, Martin here with CoinRingUSA.com. In today's video, I wanted to discuss with you guys the most effective way to protect your coin ring making tools uh, prior to the folding process. After you've selected your coin, this is a Walking Liberty half dollar, and you've annealed it, quenched it of course, and you've center punched your hole, depending on what size. This one here is a 7 16th. The next step, and it's in my opinion one of the most crucial steps is you actually want to go ahead and remove the harsh edges on both sides of the coin. You actually want to get rid of both or both sides of these 90 degree edges on both sides of the coin. And I've actually gone ahead on the uh, obverse side here and I've already done that so I'm not sure maybe hopefully you can sort of see how well rounded that is uh, all the way around the coin versus the reverse or the tail side of this half dollar you can kind of see the sharp edges you can see the 90 degree the reason that you want to actually round off both sides is so that whether you're using the uh, Delrin bearing balls or whether you're using the uh, folding cones the reason for that is you want to protect the surface of your folding tool um, when you're putting it in the reduction die and you're folding down you're gonna have the most degree of edge when you first initially fold of course so you don't want that 90 degree because it'll leave a nice indentation or impression um, these folding cones are much better it's a much better alternative to the Delrin balls but there's a pretty nice indentation on the Delrin ball you know the Delrin resin is it's an okay option, but obviously the much better one uh, are these folding cones here, providing a lot more stability. Um, but you still want to protect the cone or the surface of it by beveling, rounding off the edges. So that's really the whole goal. Regardless of what folding tool you're using, you want to make sure that you can protect the surfaces as much as possible from wear and tear. So some of the different options that uh, that I've used prior you've got a, your uh, half inch round file and works really great a little more time consuming but the issue with utilizing a round file is a lot of times you just end you end up with shavings and it's kinda hard to capture those another tool that uh, I've used in the past this is a little generic uh, Dremel uh, drill master um, you know going around with a little tiny sanding drum but when you're using silver coins, when you're making coin rings out of 90% silver, and unless, you're, unless you have a, a good method to trap the shavings, um, this method here really isn't so ideal. So one of the best methods that I found of actually rounding off and softening the edges of your coin before you fold it over is utilizing a tool such as this. This is a, a deburring tool. Um, I purchased this off of Amazon and I mean you can pick this up for literally like 10 bucks it's a uh, general it's the brand of this particular one here but the uh, heads are removable so that once you uh, you know once the service life of this blade is actually passed you can simply pop it out and put in another one when you purchase this tool I think it came with two extra but you can buy these uh, little uh, removable blade heads individually. So as I said I had already done this side the uh, obverse side so the best way to do this is you simply want to hold the coin take the beveling tool and you can see it's got a nice curve to it and I've got a little rubber tray here it's my little catch pan. The reason why this is more effective than utilizing a uh, sanding disc drum sanding drum like this or um, a file is that you can actually capture the shavings. So you take the deburring tool and you just kind of want to hold the coin with your thumb and index finger and whichever hand that you typically are dominant in or that you write in. In my case here I'm left-handed so um, I would actually grab my thumb on the opposing hand, the hand that has the tool, and grip the deburring tool this way. Hopefully you guys can catch that. So You can see the, how I'm holding it there line it up inside just start on, on anywhere really line it up 
and then you simply go around and you can also go in the opposing direction as well sometimes I find that to be more effective and you simply just go around in a circular motion important thing is to take your time especially with this part you want to really make sure that you have nice even strokes and you want to eliminate as much of that 90 degree edge as possible and you want to be able to round it out really nice okay so what we have here is the walking liberty half dollar on the reverse side and if I kinda just scroll it all the way around you can see that that 90 degree edge is no longer there might be hard to see it completely um, but again the edge has been completely rounded off and again I've got my little rubber tray here and that's really key just because I can trap those shavings again which is 90 percent silver and I have a little container that I've been saving over the last year or so and uh, heck I probably got an ounce or so just in shavings there so um, that's really key so just a quick tip again utilizing the deburring tool to actually soften the edges on your coin prior to the folding process again you want to make sure that that's as soft as possible and of course immediately prior to folding this coin over you want to anneal it one more time and then you want to quench it and then you'll be ready to go utilizing either the Delrin resin bearing balls or the uh, new folding cones so uh, go ahead and subscribe in the lower right hand corner if you haven't already please go ahead and share this video comment uh, like it if you enjoyed this video. Um, check out my blog site at coinringblog.com. You can also leave me comments or suggestions there. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.